Good morning guys! We have now moved to another house. We are renting a place more in the west coast, closer to Sagres, uh, where Luca is uh, surfing, where there's waves. And uh, that the reason is... Could you say hi? Mm. Say hola! 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 To the bay! Oh, cool is it lit! Mm, so good, huh? Mm, so good, huh? <laughs> You're flirting with the camera? Oh, <laughs> so cool! Waking up before the sun, watching the sunrise. Okay, be right back. <laughs> okay, so the reason we rented the house is because it's closer to surf. So instead of Luca going like one hour one way and one hour back every day, then we moved a bit closer to the waves. So he can go surf and we can just chill here and we can come later to the beach. And yeah, it's more relaxing for, for everyone, I think. So it's a really big and nice house with a swimming pool, everything. So, so we're gonna stay here for almost a week. Just enjoy. Mmm, some holiday time. Not sure what we're gonna do today. Waiting for everyone to wake up. Noah had some porridge, I had some coffee. Watching some cookies. Watching tractors. And uh, tonight we're going to a barbecue at a friend's place. Tag along. He said he wanted some more porridge. So I'm gonna show you. I made, this is the leftovers. And just made it with oats and water, uh, cooked it, and then I add butter and the egg yolk in the end. And just mix it, it's done. And then in the bowl, to make it a bit sweet, I mash some banana and then just add the porridge. And that's it. So, ooh! In that way I get some fats and proteins in the porridge when I add the butter and the egg. But let's see if he actually wants more. <laughs> Mama's in? I was going to make my smoothie. Uh, then I saw this acai and... Um, Acai and guarana, Luca bought yesterday. It's totally frozen, like this. It looks nice. Mmm, it looks really good. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, nice. Such a long time since I had acai. I'm gonna use that instead of the berries today. adventure in uh, California yeah. by the sequoia trees. What is it called? The forest? Red. Redwoods? Maybe. We went to see the sequoia trees, the biggest 
and oldest it's the biggest uh, trees in the living, world living being in the world yeah and he brought back to portugal a seed and he planted the sequoia tree in at, at home and he actually got it to grow but then it died when he went for a surf trip so now we want to see if we can find him a new sequoia tree or if they don't have an uh, olive tree or another tree so he can plant in his forest he estimated i think he said he estimated he could have like 1500 trees there so this will be one of them É isso? E mais uma horinha e tal, devemos estar na praia também. Ok, mas na terral com, com as coisas. Na boa. Uh, Esta que já tem aqui duas... Uh, this one is nice, não? It has two olives and everything. Uh -huh. A little olive. So they didn't have the sequoia tree. But this is a nice good, no? olive tree. This oh. one will get big, right? Yeah. Maybe goyaba also is nice. Goiaba. Goji is also nice. Hey, mango. Oi, mango. My God. Look at this one. Goji this has. is a goji a tree. Berry already there. My God. A dream garden. <laughs> I think you will be happy for this. Success. So, preparing for the barbecue, everyone is bringing some food. I'm making tzatziki, I've never done it before, but it seems super easy. This is just uh, cucumber and salt. I'm adding garlic and then Greek yogurt and pepper, and that's it. And I think it's super nice with the grilled meat and uh, fish. Another day in paradise. Luca took Noah for a little car ride. He loves to drive a car. So I think they're checking waves. And uh, so I could sleep in and have a calm morning. <sighs> so good. I'm gonna show you a thing. Uh, I got some questions about my skincare, my sunscreen, and my shampoo. I got questions about. It. So for the face, I'm using these products from DMK. Um, I used it for, I don't know, maybe five years. I've tried a lot of others, like yeah, all natural, organic, but I always come back to these products because it's, I think it's what gives my skin what it needs. I've never had much problems with my skin, so the only thing is it's very sensitive and dry, 
and so that is why I use this. Yeah, so I start with the cleansing. This will be your last And then uh, herb and uh, mineral spray. This oil, seba e oil. In the night and in the winter, I use this cream as well, Biogen C, or another one that's called. Hydrolock and uh, both of these are really nice if I feel extra dry. Now in like summer, spring, fall, I use uh, this one in the day instead. And this is the only sunscreen that I use that I ha can recommend because it's the one I use all the time and keep buying again and again. Uh, it's with the uh, SPF 25. It's from Hyn Skin Love No. It's very, very light. It just feels like a very light day cream and it smells really good. And that's it. So this I do every night, every morning. I don't cleanse normally in the morning, only in the night. In the morning I just use water. And then for the hair I use shampoo and products that I got recommended from my hairdresser friend, Kevin Murphy. Again, my hair is very like soft and thin, so or at least very soft. So I need volume. I like volume, <laughs> and I don't like it to feel so soft. So this one I use, plumping, voluming shampoo. I also have the same uh, conditioner. I really like to use this one. It's kind of a, like a beach salty spray to get more texture. And for the ends, I use this one that's like a oil. And that's it. been to the beach every day long very long day on the beach I'm just gonna do my nails and then I was thinking to do a workout but I'm honestly so warm and a bit tired today tired in my body feels so just heavy so I figured I'm gonna do a yoga session instead that's what I need the most right now but first this one I was feeling for a fresh summer color the last two days we're here in the sun then we go back to Norway and I am not going to travel anymore this year because of the pregnancy and then we're having a baby so then I'm not going to <laughs> travel for some months also, I guess. And we'll see about the corona situation and everything. But I'm really sure I'm not going to Portugal again before spring, the earliest. Now it's beginning of September, so half a year. So just have to soak, soak in all the sun. Prepare for a long winter in Norway. Hi, I'm Tammy. Welcome to Pregnancy Yoga. Today we're 